We kick off our top 10 countdown with something that kicked off the season. 49er basketball madness slam dunk contest with no Charlie Coley. Fans turn to the favorite Rashad Coleman who did not disappoint. There you see that off the backboard alley-oop from Dewan, but it was that between the legs slam that sealed the deal and gave Rashad Coleman this year's slam dunk championship all the way back at Basketball Madness, which uh, the official kickoff of the 2009-2010 season. Moving on to number nine, we go back to our first game of the season. It was an 86-70 win over UNC Asheville. It gave coach Bobby Lutz his 200th win with the Niners. Lutz is the all-time winningest coach here at Charlotte. He was relieved of his duties after 12 season as head coach earlier this week, but certainly 200 wins, a milestone that stands alone here at Charlotte. Moving on to number eight, or number acht if you're German. In a tight game at home against GW, Dario Green went scoreless through the first 39 minutes, but he comes up big late in the game. Clock running, 53 seconds and counting. Harris out top, Green right side is open for three. Good! He got it! He got it! It's a tie game! His first tonight! Niners would score the final four points, escaping with a win over GW. Long rebound, GW one second, there's the horn, it's over! It's a 49ers winner, and they survive! And I mean survive here tonight! At number seven, a play that made the worldwide leaders top ten list, an unbelievable dish from Harris up the left side, sandwiched between defenders gets it to Braz for the lane. Spears down low. Harris finds Braswell down low though and he scores! The drive of the dish! Defying all scientific principles, Harris with the assist in a big Niners win versus Temple. More on that game coming up in a few. At number six, it's more of an accomplishment than a single play, but 49ers senior Ian Anderson connected on four of his first four three-pointers taken on senior day versus Richmond, moving Ian up the charts on the all-time triples list. He's finished his career with 195 triples, good for seventh all-time on the three-point field goal made list behind Brendan Plavik. Uh, but think of Ian, and you will likely hear this call. Point shooter, Ian again for three. He got it, he got it, he's four for four. What's the top 10 list without the big fella? Shamari Spears dropped 31 points this year. Niners get it down low and Shamari Spears. Spears baseline left jumper, good. Gone by, they get it down low off the glass. Scoring is Shamari Spears. Corner, Shamari Hill launch three. Yes, a three, second one today. Gets it to him, baseline right, fall away for Shamari. He got another one, he's got the hot hand tonight. And yet in the floor, he'll drive and dish, find Spears, basket good. The call got a little redundant at times. Spears line 12 of 20, 31 points, six rebounds for the big fella from Salisbury. Falls to number five, that game against GW here at home, a win for the Niners. We go to number four, just a phenomenal play by Mr. Green. Did you see it? Probably not, so let's show you again. Bumped by Sleuth's Kwame Mitchell. The teardrop falls. I mean, I could watch this over and over again. Green would go on to finish the three-point play, but it was teammates' late heroics that would steal the show, and that's called foreshadowing, my friends. Harris dribbling outside. Top of the key. Takes a jumper. Good! With three seconds to go. At number three, we have that play. Final seconds of overtime. Roll the beautiful bean footage. The half-court heave at the buzzer would not fall as the Niners, the Cardiac Kids, escaped again with the victory. Another look off the bounce on Mitchell. A little shimmy. I said a little shimmy for the pull-up from 17 feet. Crowd goes wild. Niners win 63-61. Another narrow victory at home for the Cardiac Kids, the Niners. At number two, and arguably the biggest win of the season, it's a series of plays. One, this step back triple from Dario that really got the crowd into it. Then the dunk in the final seconds. Niner Nation would be on the floor, and Charlotte would catapult into the spotlight after a huge top 25 victory at home against Temple. There you see it, as it even made the highlights on SportsCenter. At numero uno, if I need to, if as if I needed to speak, cue the call play and LaSalle is backing up a little bit, kind of surprising. They get it to Anwan in three seconds. He's dribbling it up the floor. Anwan, fall away. Good! It's good! He fell away from 16 feet on the right side! And it's a 49ers winner! 84-82 here in Philly! Oh my, what a fish! 
and one, took the inbounds, raced up the floor. Instead of going down the lane, he fell away from the right side of the lane, and he got it off before the, the clock went to zero. The horn sounded, and the backboard lit up, and the ball went through the, the hoop, and the Niners win 84-82. Wow, what a finish.